Welcome to another movie. So this time again a tutorial. So what I will need to do, and I want to again show it, I need to change this plug. Uh, that's for a Felium uh, speedboat, RC speedboat. And because these plugs are so magical, and I have no idea what this plug is, I want to change it. So I will of course need a plug. Uh, it's good to have another battery with uh, the same plug or just uh, uh, find a picture on the internet because uh, of course I have a socket and a plug in here. Uh, when I uh, always solder a plug I always watch how the cables are set on uh, already made plug. Of course you can uh, just search a a picture on internet but uh, mostly I just uh, take uh, battery and uh, just check uh, on what uh, side uh, I have soldered uh, a connector because that's um, more easy so we need of course a connector I will take two in this moment because I need to make two uh, I will put that to the side uh, it's good to have a shrink tube. As you can see, I have uh, three sets. Probably, probably is this one, uh, but I did uh, take out all, all of them uh, just for, uh, to make sure I have it. Uh, of course, you need uh, something to cut the cable. Mm, you can do it with the scissors, but I prefer a um, tweezers. No, not tweezers. A cutting pliers, if I uh, pronounce it good. Uh, of course a, a knife to uh, cut uh, out the uh, isolation uh, now it's good to have something to cool down the plug of course uh, let me take it uh, it's good to have something to hold the plug like this I also use this uh, copper uh, hair clips uh, just to cool down the, the plug after the soldering I now um, don't do that because I have this this is the uh, connector soldering station. Uh, it's designed just to uh, allow soldering of a specific type of uh, plugs like this. You just uh, screw it down and uh, because it's a, a big piece of uh, aluminium, uh, this cools down the, uh, the plastic around it and keep it uh, keep only this uh, metal pins uh, heated so uh, of course it's it is uh, heat resistant in some point but mostly if you overheat it you will uh, melt the plastic and the pins will start to be loose and they will fall out so uh, keep in mind to just cool it but if you cool it too much of course it, it will have a hard time to uh, heat it. I will uh, of course put a link in description uh, for this uh, uh, the station because it's a really really great thing it's uh, not so cheap of course it's not uh, completely expensive but uh, makes the job very easy as you can see uh, XT60 plug and uh, socket XT90 uh, uh, mini T and of course all the uh, DIN connectors and uh, other stuff so that's make it really easy to do now first thing caution uh, changing plug on uh, battery not uh, near CD not near MH but on any LiPo Lion battery is very dangerous uh, keep in mind I will show you I will tell you uh, what to avoid what not to do but you need to uh, be aware that this will be dangerous uh, if you do it wrong. Uh, for instance, uh, people mostly cut it like this. And if you cut it like that, you make a short circuit on both and the battery will uh, burn or will explode. That's why it's really dangerous. I uh, did it many times, so I, I know what to avoid. I will tell you in this movie, but you need to remember it's not uh, completely safe if you do it wrong. If you do it right, no problem. You need to, uh, the main uh, 
uh, thing that you need to remember you need to uh, work only when with one cable at the at a time don't do both cables in the same time i will show you what i mean but that's really important so i repeat uh, again uh, really really be careful with this Re uh, listen to what i say read on the internet if you like but uh, just keep it uh, safe so uh, of course now i will need a certain station i will take my uh, my fan that is uh, uh, hanging above <laughs> And I will uh, get everything ready and I will show you uh, how I do it and what to avoid. Okay, I have heated the uh, soldering iron, I have the plug in here, have the battery, uh, have the, uh, uh, the fin in here. Now, we start with cutting out this plug. Uh, again, I repeat a caution, a warning, don't cut both. Be aware when cutting you need to cut only one cable like this. I move it away, I will just take this uh, down sticker out, I don't need that. Come on, I don't need you. That will make it more easy. I bend like this away from it and now I will uh, cut away the uh, the isolation. You can uh, just match it with the pin in there. I just cut it like this. I twist the cable. Oh, I need a handy, handy, uh, sorry, my handy third hand. <laughs> maybe four because I have many of them <laughs> and now I will uh, thin the wire I have it heat uh, have the iron uh, soldering iron heated I need to clean it out it's clean uh, I have the fan turned on just to get the smoke away uh, from me I put a, a little soldering fin on it and just let let it hit the cable and just push the pin uh, on it now I will not do the same with the second one just to not risk it uh, the second part is I will need a uh, sorry I have small space in here now uh, I need to select what uh, I think this one was much better uh, what uh, uh, protection I wanted, uh, what shrink tube I want on it. Uh, I think this one is uh, better, they are not the same actually, but uh, so. <laughs> have small space now. Okay, so this one will work and this one should work. I cut it a little bit longer, not too much. But let's say this should be enough. I put that away. Now we are working with the positive cable. And now uh, I will I think I will pin it. I need to check what cable, uh, what side I want it. So one is flat uh, like this, and one is set like this. We are soldering the positive, so it's like this. So we will solder solder this one. And now I will turn the fan a little bit faster. Uh, you will not see it uh, see it clear because it's from the other side but what I do I will put a little bit solder in here I will touch it like I said like this so we will see just hit this part uh, a little bit and put a solder on it so uh, you may not see it but uh, it started to be loose just because the plastic hit it up now I will set it like this so you can see it uh, more c clear. I need to put the heat shrink. I don't know if I will be able to solder in this position. Also, the light doesn't uh, 
go on it. It's quite hard to. I need a little bit, a little more solder. And quite hard in this position just to let you see it. Uh, what I do, I just touch it and I heat it up and let the solder melt the cable on it. Ah, didn't grab it. Now I need to let it uh, cool just to not melt the plug. Sometimes, sometimes it's really annoying to do this. Let's put a little bit more. Maybe this angle will be better. Let's see how this. Uh, this should work, but I don't like it. As you can see, the plug is starting to be a bit loose. That's because it's overheated. much more because if you overheat it uh, the plastic that it's uh, 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 that the plug is surrounding is starting to melt and the plug is starting to be loose the second solution you can do is just to plug a socket to a plug and use it like this because if you uh, overheat the plastic the second part will still hold it it's not maybe the best solution but uh, but this is how I did it before this and I put a clip on the end just to cool it down and that worked quite fine and uh, now the plug is uh, a little bit solid and we will not uh, solder the second one we put the I'll try to put the heat shrink on I need to take it out from the Holder, we put the heat shrink on. Let me heat up my hot air gun and heat the camera. <laughs> and we heat up the shrink. Oh, sorry, Let me take it out. And that's uh, one plug ready. Let me turn it off. Now we put it back inside and try to put it back inside let's clamp it the other side and now we will do the, the second cable uh, why I did only the uh, this one just because now if I touch uh, this cable I will only touch uh, this hitching I will not touch this uh, this uh, the cable and make a short circuit that's why I'm uh, doing it so again let me check it again if I'm uh, I have the sides right uh, check it twice three times even ten times if you want but make sure you connect it right if you connect it wrong you will burn electronic on the RC so that's uh, really really important to make it uh, really uh, well and right now let me I need to get the and slower clean the tip and we are thinning the second cable just hit the cable and let the tin melt on the cable by itself now it's heated accepting the tin this cable is done and now I will Put the tin on the plug from this side. Oops, I don't need that. I put a tin on the soldering iron and transfer it on the pad. I really don't want to overheat it, but you need to, the tin need to contact with the uh, with the uh, pin on the plug that uh, requires much more heat oh, come on this T 
team doesn't want to work with me. Maybe on the other side. Ah, let me solder it. On the other side, that will be more easy because there's more flat side on this one. Or maybe not. The best solution for this, let me take it out. I should do that first and forget about it, is to get a flux. Flux uh, make the uh, tin contact much better with the, with the metal. And now it should be much more easy. My bad, I should this should make this first but I didn't yes now it's better so the flags help a lot uh, I mostly just don't uh, do this but sometimes sometimes probably this may uh, depend on the plug uh, uh, how the plug accepts it let me cool it. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Let me cool this a little bit. Actually, I should put it on the other side of the fan <laughs> because it's uh, hot in this moment and it make uh, can make uh, uh, the plug fall out. Uh, I have the heat shrink on. Now I can solder it. So really really hard to do this on camera because I can uh, off the camera I can select the angle I want I heat it up let it contact I check the solder um, not bad but I want it to be better you know need to heat it enough just to let the cable contact with the uh, pad and not overheat the uh, the plug itself uh, put the heat shrink on I can now disconnect it let me get the heat gun and that's the last part now. And that's ready. Now I need to just cool it down and uh, this will be uh, ready. Wait. No way. Okay, I put it put the wrong block. Ah, oh, god damn it. That's why I have two pins outside. Uh, okay, so my mistake. <laughs> Let me take this plug uh, back. Okay, but you did see uh, how it's uh, looking. Uh, as you can see, I did make a mistake in here. I did not check which one. I just watched this one and put uh, a plug instead of socket. Why uh, you cannot use the plug? Because two pins are outside. So if I will show this, uh, I will make a short circuit. Okay, so my mistake, as you can see, I do mistakes. I will not show how, uh, how I replace it because it's exactly the same process as you can see. Uh, of course, I will now use the flux because I see it. It's uh, really liking it. Uh, the station really uh, help. So don't uh, make the same mistake as I do. Uh, I put the plug instead of uh, socket. Now I will just take one of the cables, solder it, and just uh, do the same with the second one. So sorry for for that. That's my mistake. I uh, did the plug instead of the socket, so now I can connect two batteries together, <laughs> and I will just switch it to the socket. That's why I wanted you to check again, again, and again. Not a, not a big deal because I can uh, switch that, but this is uh, a, 
basic mist mistake that you can make and that's what I did now. So now I will just switch it and see you in next movie.